Hello, my name is Vipul and in this video we are going to talk about union transformation in Informatica. So what is a union transformation? Union transformation actually helps us to make a union of data between the two tables. It's like a simple union all clause that you use in a SQL statement. Nothing else. So, you know, let's say we have a table employee with some columns and we have another table coming from the source which has the exactly same columns. Now we want to load the data into the target such that the data of coming from these two sources that is employee and some other source gets combined together and go into the single target table. So for this purpose we use union transformation. Okay, let's see how to make it and informatica and use it let's say this is our table employee where we have these columns employee number name job manager hire date salary commission and department number and we have another table called as vm source one here also we have all these columns name job manager hire date salary commission department number what we want is that data in these two tables get combined and go in the target table uh, uh, which has the same structure so employee has let's look at the data quickly this is the data of employee table name smith job this 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 blah blah whatever and the source table has these uh, records we have name job name job whatever so we are going to load the data into the target by making a union of these two tables how to do it let's quickly create a mapping first of all M source underscore and target maybe underscore union okay and uh, then we import both our sources the very first source we are going to keep it here resize it And the same with the second source. Now in the target table, which uh, is our VM target, we can place it here and resize the box. Okay, and between the source and target, now we are going to create a union transformation. This one. Let's name it TRN and target underscore union. Right now, what we do, we import all the ports of the source into the union transformation so automatically a group is created you see here new group has been created let's double click and look at these groups what are these groups these groups are just uh, you know the grouping of the source data coming from two different tables so we create two groups uh, one group we call it as m source one or let's call it simply m source the other one we call it as m source one okay and so in m source one exactly same tables are going to repeat the same uh, ports are going to repeat sorry and what we will do we will just link the ports of m source one to the m source one group that's all finally what we are going to do we are going to link the output ports of this transformation to the ports of the target right so this is how the mapping is made for a union transformation let's save it Control s go in the workflow manager create a new workflow wf and source uh, and target underscore union and we create a new task. C 
this underscore and target underscore union. Let's give it this particular mapping done and join it. And then we go in the mapping connections and give the target and the source as well as the relational the uh, the connection for the uh, the other source right once okay also we should go in the mapping once again and just uncheck the update as update options and here we uncheck the delete option and select the truncate table option which is going to truncate the data before the load happens in case there is any data in it right now we start workflow go in the workflow monitor window and here we see the workflow has started running succeeded and succeeded Perfect. Let's go in the data and uh, go in the database and here we browse this table VM target refresh and here we see the data has got loaded as a union of two tables. In the M table we have 15 records. In the employee source 1 table we have 9 records. So in the target total of 24 records have got loaded. Okay. So this is how we work with union transformation. Thank you.